Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Baller here. We are now in this fourth game for this November 20, 2022 NBA game day. We now got Memphis Grizzlies with the record of 10 wins and 6 losses, visiting Brooklyn Nets with the record of 7 and 9. The game, by the way, will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Now, let's take a look at the spread, by the way. The spread given um, right now is at minus 7.5. It has changed. I guess it started around minus 6, but it is now at minus 7.5, and that is given towards Brooklyn Nets. And let's take a look at the uh, standings of both teams first. Starting with the uh, Memphis Grizzlies, they belong to the Western Conference. They are currently ranked at number two with a record of 10 and 6. While Brooklyn Nets, they belong to the Eastern Conference um, with a record of 7 and 9. They are ranked at number 10. Brooklyn Nets would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, well, both teams are actually coming off uh, wins, so we can just, uh, just you know, skip that part. Um, and in terms of momentum, um, uh, yeah, I think, I think that was momentum. In, but in terms of fatigue, rather, um, both teams also had their rest last night. So both teams were idle. We can actually just skip that part and let's proceed with the health or the availability of the players. And this is going to be the difference maker for, uh, for me. I mean, if you take a look at it, uh, let's start with Brooklyn Nets, by the way. Um, TJ Warren is still out, um, while Kyrie Irving is actually listed as questionable. I've read some articles. It's really not sure yet whether Kyrie Irving would actually suit up and play, but there's a possibility. So keep an eye on him. Um, well, for Memphis Grizzlies, I'm looking at the record now. There are five players in the list, and all are confirmed out. And not only that, these players are are the top players of Memphis Grizzlies. I'm talking about John Moran. I'm talking about Jaron Jackson Jr. I'm talking about Desmond Bain. And those three are out. Now, a Danny Green and, of course, a Williams are also out as they have been for the longest time. All right, I'm going to make this one short. There are just a lot of players out for Memphis Grizzlies, and those players are basically uh, the core of Memphis Grizzlies. So it's really going to be tough uh, for someone to trust Memphis Grizzlies with their money now that they're, now that they're top players and along with other two players are out. Now for Brooklyn Nets, there's even a possibility that Kyrie Irving will be suiting up and play, uh, will be suiting up for them and play. Um, also, mind you, uh, Brooklyn Nets had that very good win the other night, uh, like two nights ago. So they sh they should be having some momentum coming onto this game. They are at home, so all directions are actually pointing towards Brooklyn Nets' this way. I know the spread is a bit too high, minus seven point five, but I'm gonna trust Brooklyn Nets on this one. So my pick would be Brooklyn, minus 7.5. Again, that's KD and his boys, minus 7.5. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.